Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we'll create a QR code generator API using Flask and Python and call it from a demo web page using Fitch Web API to generate real-time QR code. First, we'll start by installing the required dependencies. So what you're going to do is type in your terminal pip install flask flask underscore course QR code and pillow and hit enter okay once you've installed the required dependencies you're just gonna um, create a new Python file so main the pi now we'll need to import the native packages so from flask import flask request send underscore file and from flask underscore cores import cores and then we're going to import QR code and finally from IO oops from IO import bytes IO okay now we'll create our flask instance and since this is an API we need to make sure it's accessible from any origin to avoid cores errors so what we're gonna type in here app is gonna be equal to flask underscore underscore name underscore underscore and then cores of app okay now we'll define our QR code generation route which would only accept the post request. So at app.route and our route is going to be on slash generate underscore QR code and the methods are going to be post post. Okay, let's now create our um, handler method. So diff generate underscore QR code so first of all, we're going to create a buffer using the bytes IO. So buffer is going to be equal to bytes IO. And then the data is going to be equal to request dot form dot get data. So I'm going to just send this data into the um, request as a form value, which is going to hold actually the QR code text. So the next thing is to generate the QR code. So image is going to be equal to QR code dot make, and then we give it the data variable. So now that we have our image, we're going to save it to the buffer. So image dot save, and then we're going to send it the buffer. And then let's just uh, seek to the zero position of the buffer. So buffer dot seek zero. Okay, and the response is going to be equal to send underscore file, and then we're going to give it the buffer, and then the my type, which is going to be image slash PNG, and finally we're going to return this response. Okay, um, the next thing to do is actually starting our server. So right down here, what we need to do is type if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal to underscore underscore main underscore underscore then what we're gonna do is just run the app so app.run okay so we are done with the implementation of our QR code generation API let's now um, create a demo web page that would call this API so I'm just creating a new file right here I'm going to call it um, QR code generator tutorial HTML. So I'm going to start by creating a HTML tag and then a head tag. And we're going to have a title QR code generator tutorial. And then we're going to have our body, which is going to have a uh, heading QR code generator tutorial and then we're gonna have a dev that's gonna hold a label text and then the input field input 
name is equal to oops name is equal to QR code and then the type is equal to text and finally the image of ID QR code which is going to hold our generated um, QR code image okay so uh, what we're gonna do now is actually create a method generate QR code that's going to call our API so right in here in the head section um, under the title I'm gonna type script tag and inside it I'm gonna type a function generate QR code which is gonna take a value of course okay so what we need to do is create a new form data object and add this um, data attribute with the value of this input field as parameters that are going to be sent in our fetch um, call to the API so what we need to do is type lead for data equal to new for data and then for data dot append so we want to append the data um, variable or the attribute with the value as value right okay what we need to do next is call the fetch um, method so fetch first we give it our route so our server by default is at localhost with port 5000 so http colon slash slash localhost and then colon and then 5000 just like that slash generate underscore QR code which is actually our route and then we give it the parameters of the request so we're actually creating a post request a method it's gonna be equal to post and then the body it's going to be the form data right okay so actually this fetch returns a promise so what we need to do is um, type in here the then and then I'm gonna create an R function that's gonna take the result of this uh, fetch request right so what we need to do is actually read the image um, from the response and then update the uh, QR code um, image that we're having right down here so what we need to type is res body get reader read and this read method actually returns a promise and is going to read the bytes of um, the the generated response so th then so we're going to have image as argument to this error function right here and what we need to do is first create the image byte array so let image oops let image byte array equal to image dot value and then we're going we're going to get the string of this byte array so let string value oops value equals to string dot from char code and then we're going to distribute our image byte array over this method okay so right now um what we need to do is actually get the encoded value the base 64 encoded value of this string value so let encoded value be equal to btoa and then we're going to give it the string value and right now we have the base 64 representation of our QR code so what we need to do is uh, browse for this element or get this element right here and replace the source with the new base 64 source so what we're gonna type is document dot get element by ID and then we're gonna give it the QR code since this image has ID QR code dot source is equal to data and then image slash png and then a 
semicolon and then base 64 and then a comma and then we give it our encoded value so i'm using here um string formatting so what i'm going to type is dollar sign and then between curly braces my variable which is encoded value and guess what that's it what we need to do next is actually call this function whenever we change the input value so what i'm going to do is type here on change equals to generate qr code and then the value is going to be the value of this input field so what i'm going to type is this dot value and guess what that's it what we need to do now is first run our server so what i'm going to type here is python dash m main so now our server is running at port 5000 right here and uh, what i'm going to do is actually open the file in google chrome so google dash chrome qr code generator to the html hit enter and here we go so let's now try to get the barcode or i mean the qr code for basil tech one two three and here we go this is the generated qr code let's now change this to basil tech and bam it uh, it updates this qr code right here okay so uh, that's it guys for this tutorial and see you in the next one